Good morning and happy it's Father's Day today. And I know we said yesterday that we weren't gonna celebrate, but I had a little surprise for Tim and I wanted to show you while he's in the shower. Sorry, it's dark, I got this shirt. And I put it out for him while he's in the shower. So he's gonna, sorry, I keep looking at the screen over here. So he's gonna get out of the shower and see the shirt and then the buddy also has the same design on his onesie. I know, this buddy is so silly. So, so that'll just be a fun little surprise for this morning. Yeah, you're gonna show daddy that you're wearing the same outfit? And then we are really gonna, just gonna celebrate on, oh man, that got me out of breath. We're gonna celebrate next weekend or this coming weekend, but I didn't want him to go without like any kind of celebration, so. So this is what we're gonna wear today. You already got some slobber on it, huh? That's what we're gonna wear today, bud. So hopefully he sees the shirt when he gets out of the shower and he gets a little bit excited because today is your very first Father's Day with your dad, isn't it? It is. You just love kicking those feet, huh? So say happy Father's Day, daddy. Happy Father's Day, Daddy! We're very excited. We're having a very exciting morning, aren't we? Oh, okay. I think it's time for your nap, little buddy. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys while Tim was in the shower because I want to surprise him with the shirt. That was just like a little fun thing. So, all right, say good night, everybody. It's nap time. Good night, everybody. It's nap time. Oh no, I'm not wearing any clothes yet. I oh, know. This is the best. I was trying to get your um your true reaction. This is the best. Do you love it? Yeah. <laughs> can't wait. Today is your very first Father's Day. Yeah. I want a picture with me and Jackson. Well, he's asleep right now. Oh. Well, yeah. when he wakes up. Okay. Then I want a picture with me and him. Yeah. This is the best. Yay. I love it. Good. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. <laughs> So today's your first Father's Day. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel like a dad. Yeah? Yeah. What does that feel like? I mean, tired, <laughs> <laughs> but rewarding. Yeah? Yeah. What's been your favorite thing about being a dad so far? The giggles? Yeah. Yeah. Who's, his giggles? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I liked, so it just changed because one of my favorite things was being able to like put him to sleep. Mm -hmm. Like I felt like very accomplished being like, oh, I can put him to sleep. Like, but now that changed the last like week mm -hmm. and it's like, well, what the heck? You can still, it's harder to get him to go to sleep, but you can still get him to go to sleep. Right. But it is, it's not as easy as it once was. And I do like feeding him now. Yeah. Like that's fun. The solid foods. Yeah. Yeah. It is fun. Cause he's like excited about them. And it's, I'm like, yeah, it's very cute. I know that's we show my you. Son. <laughs> Aww, yeah. yeah. I know we show you when we feed him. Well, as of recently, anyway, we've been showing you what we've been feeding him and stuff. And uh, it's very cute to watch him because he does this thing where he we call it like when he's turtling, and he'll go. Essentially, like you have him in his high chair, and then you set the food on the table, and then like go to like grab a napkin or something, and he's like looking at the food like. <laughs> He really does love solid foods. Oh, last night, did we tell him about how he, his sleeping last night? No, we haven't. Oh, okay, so we were talking about how his sleep schedule was like just really out of whack. Like he was getting up every hour, it was really tough on us. But last night, he got up at 11, he went to sleep at midnight, yeah. got up again at three. Well, so he went to sleep at 7.30, because mm -hmm. he was so tired, and then he woke up at eight. And I think that we talked about this a little bit in yesterday's video. I think it was because of the lightning and thunder. Yeah, there was like a big storm last night. Yeah, but then I couldn't get him to go back to sleep until like nine. Mm -hmm. So at nine, he went to sleep and then he woke up at, what'd you say, 11.30? Uh, 11, and then he went to sleep at like 11.50. Right, and then he slept until three, mm -hmm. which was fantastic. Yeah, I woke up and I'm like, oh, it's, it's three. It's yeah. three in the morning. Um, and then he went to sleep at like 3.53. And then he woke up at 6.30. Yeah. So that's like a good night for us. It really was a good night, um, which is crazy because I remember when I was pregnant, I was getting like 10 hours of sleep. Yeah. 10, 10 hours of uninterrupted sleep. Yeah. 
That's like a fever dream. Like when that like never happened. It's like I made now, it. I made it up in my brain. Like uh, it was never a real thing. And now we're excited for three hours of uninterrupted uninterrupted sleep. Yeah. That's my tongue twister for the day. All right. So one of the things that I've been wanting to do for like weeks now is here in Florida, we get our water from the Florida aquifer and the Florida aquifer is full of limestone. So our water is very hard. Like it has a lot of minerals in it. And thus our shower head up in our bathroom gets clogged with lime scale or like, like mineral scale. And so I have to take the shower head off and I need to soak it in vinegar as like an, an acid to break down the basic scale. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how good it does. And I'm excited to see like how the shower head works after I do this, because I think it should work a lot better. Let's go find out. I got to take it off and then we're going to bring it down here and put it in some vinegar. So here's the shower head and you can kind of see some of the scale. Oh, here, here's a good nozzle right there with a lot of scale around it. So hopefully we can break all that down with the vinegar and then we'll have nice free flowing shower heads. All right, there it is soaking in the vinegar. We'll just let this sit for a couple of hours. That should do pretty good. Hopefully. So something that I think I'm going to try is I'm going to try to cut this uh, basil plant down so that it grows more wide than tall. So I think I'm going to cut it like right here, cut off these three branches here. Yeah. Also, this tomato plant really started to grow. Oh my goodness. It already has a flower on it. Like it's already ready to start putting out tomatoes. Wow. Do you guys see that in there? Holy macaroni. All right. So I cut the basil plant. It looks pretty good. Like, I think it'll do okay. Like, it's still a, a plant. Like, there's still a lot of leaves. And then I put all of the clippings up in this pot. I know this pot's broken, but it's still holding dirt for the most part. Because of how successful this tomato was, I, I'm hoping that these basil plants will take two, or at least one of them will. We'll see what happens. Plant vlog! Just want to give you guys an update on our tomatoes inside. They're still green, still have not turned red. But something I wanted to show you was, this is where we fill up the water down here. Do you guys see that little sprout coming through? I'm pretty sure that's a piece of mint that's trying to grow up from the roots inside of the water area. Wow, I think I need to get this mint out of here. It's kind of being a little bit wild. You ready okay. for some food? You're gonna have meat for the first time. He looks so concerned. Oh my You're gosh, it's like food? he knows. Yeah. Okay, so I've already tried this. A little but bit weird. It's said, green beans, sweet potatoes, and turkey. You said you just brushed your teeth though, so I you, did just brush my that's teeth. That's why. Alright, buddy, you ready? Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> did you see him like throw his head back? Like, what did I just eat? You really don't like it. No, oh, I don't know. He opened his mouth pretty big. Do you like it? I think he's just like, what am I what am I eating? Like, what is this? It's turkeys and green beans. And sweet potatoes. You're having like a Thanksgiving dinner. So wait, do you like it? Maybe. We're doing it. Do you yeah. want to try some, Jen? I kind of do. Okay. All right, let's see. You ready? A little bite. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that is not good. That tastes terrible. Jackson seems to like it. I don't like that. Like, you know how liver tastes? No, I don't think I've ever actually eaten liver. I feel like you've had pate, right? No. You've never had it? No. It has that kind of a flavor. Like- So it's just like, it's unseasoned turkey, unseasoned sweet potatoes, unseasoned green- Oh, oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh, oh, he's so hungry. He likes it a lot. Well, you're doing really great. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Even if mommy doesn't like it, I'm glad that you like it. Yeah. Yeah. So I showed you guys this uh, Legoland exclusive Lego set that we got from our friends over in San Francisco. And uh, this is a puzzle that I've been sort of working on off and on like here and there, not really doing a lot to it. You can see I've got some pieces together over there, some pieces together over here. Uh, this is what the puzzle will look like at the end when it, everything's, when it's all finished. But I'm going to put that puzzle away for right now because it's not really a lot happening with it. And I'm going to put this together for Father's Day. I'm excited actually. Looks like it's gonna be pretty easy and quick to put together because like, like a roller coaster, a tower, so there's like an entrance thing. I have no idea what this is. What is this? Oh, that's the mini land. Okay, like there's Big Ben, there's Statue of Liberty, the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Gotcha. All right, now I've got a nice clean workspace for my Lego. Let's do it. This seems like it's gonna be a very fast build because here's bag one, that's it. This is kind of interesting. Each little section has its own book. So like we're on book number one right now, so we're gonna be doing 
the ticket booth, the front entrance, and some like seating areas back here. And then two is this little like pirate flat ride looking thing. Three is the mini city. Four is the, the dragon roller coaster. And then five is this tower, which I've never seen that tower before in my life going to Legoland. So maybe that's in a different Legoland, but yeah. So let's get started on number one, the front entrance sign. Thank you. Are you making your uh, Legos? I am. Your Lego, sorry I said it wrong. Yeah, it's kind of like a lot of little pieces together. Well, a yeah. lot of little mini projects within one project. That's kind of what the, the front of the box looked like. Yeah. But I also made you a chicken salad mount. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this looks delicious. It smells good too. What? Mm. I made it fresh out of the toaster. Wow. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye. Enjoy your fun Lego time. Mmm. Delicious. I knew it would be. Who made this? Me. Oh, you should start a restaurant. Just only making chicken salad melts? Yeah. Okay, I'm doing it. Okay, bye. I have to mm. go start my restaurant now. So here's the thing. I just did some Lego upstairs. I just did some of that Lego. I made it about like to box or to bag six. Right, out of 13. So you did almost half of it? I did almost half of it, wow. but what? Uh, I time-lapsed it, but because it was a bunch of little things, the time-lapse is like, like you can barely even, there's one bag that was just like on screen for like a half a second. Oh. And it was like made, and I was like, oh, well, like, there you go. So we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna have a look at all the stuff. Okay. I just had to do this down here because Jackson's asleep upstairs. Oh yeah. So I can't be like, look at this Lego! Like yelling because he's like, his door's right there. Yeah. So we're going to go up there and we're going to quietly show you what we've done so far. Very quiet. It'll be Lego ASMR. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. All right, here's our Lego ASMR. This is like a little flat ride that spins when you turn it. I like that it's a skull. That's really neat. There's a, a hot dog cart, which I was actually really impressed that they have Lego hot dogs. There's a little kid here with a camera. There's a barrel with a banana and a carrot in it. I don't know why there's a banana and a carrot in the barrel, but there is. This lady has an umbrella and a cell phone. And then there's a bench and a trash can right there. There's a, a, a ticket booth. Right there. Also, there's a stand where you can buy other Lego sets. This is some sort of strange looking submarine. I'm assuming it's a ride. And then there's the front entrance to Legoland Florida. And this is actually really impressive because this is what the front entrance to Legoland Florida actually looks like. Still, once again, shout out to Lego Hot Dogs. Like, yeah, amazing. I love this. Look at this. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a little tiny Lego hot dog. D what, does it come apart? Yeah. Like there's the Frank and the bun. <laughs> That's really funny. This reminds me, so we had a friend that went to Japan and um, he, well, he has been to Japan a few times, but on his very first trip, he brought us back like little trinkets and things from his trip. Yeah, like little cell phone charms and such. Yeah, and the cell phone charm that he brought me back was a hot dog. Like a little tiny hot dog like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and um, he also brought me back a cell phone panda charm. Yeah. And that one actually broke, but the hot dog charm. Because that was on your old Samsung flip yeah, phone. It was a, um, oh my gosh, it was a Kia Sarah. Oh. I don't even, do you guys remember like, do you remember that brand? I don't even like, is that still a thing? I'm sure it is. Yeah. That was back when um, you couldn't, I, I, I didn't text, like I didn't have enough. Um, text. You, you had to pay, you had to pay like 10 cents per text. Yeah. And so I didn't text. And also you didn't have the keyboard. It was so just you would the have numbers. To, yeah, so if you wanted to do like A, B or C, like if you wanted to ch type the letter C, you had to hit 
the two key like three times. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do, do you remember that? Yeah. That was a long time ago. That was when I was in college. So, yeah. Old. Show, showing your age. <laughs> yeah. So one thing that's been happening with this camera is that it seems like it's a little bit like muffled, like not as full sounding. And I just realized we have the wind muff on. It shouldn't affect the audio, but I want to hear, I'm going to take it off. This, there might be a, like a loud click here. I'm going to take it off and see if that affects the sound at all. Like, did it? Did it make it more full? Because this is the little wind muff that goes on top. And it shouldn't, shouldn't affect any of the sound. But who knows? Maybe it does. Let me know, because if it does, then we just won't use it in the house. Only use it when we go outside. There it is. It's like a brand new shower head. Pulled it out of the vinegar. All of the scale is gone. Look at that. Nice. Nice and easy too. Good afternoon, buddy. Good afternoon. What do you think? Did you just wake up? Do you see our shirts, Jackson? Look at that. We have matching shirts on. You and Daddy have on matching shirts. Do you love it? Here, show everybody. Put your hand down. There you go. <gasps> Let's see that shirt. Our first Father's Day. Are you so excited? Are you having a, a really fun first Father's Day? Oh, we farted. Oh. We farted on that Daddy's Father's oh. Day. Oh, Daddy likes to fart too. Oh. We learned that in the video the other day, huh? What the heck? <laughs> Are you still so embarrassed about that? Well, yeah, nobody, who's not embarrassed about having their fart sent out on the internet? <laughs> For the entire world. Jackson, we put your farts on the internet all the time. Oh no, that's embarrassing. Oh no. <laughs> oh. I love this shirt. Yay, I'm excited. I'm glad you liked it. I wasn't sure if you thought it, if you would like think it was silly, but no. I was just looking at Amazon and I was like, oh, this is such a good idea. You guys can have little matching outfits. Yeah. <gasps> you can, you can that's have a little best. matching outfit. Let me see this buddy's belly. Yeah. Do you think it's so cute? And there's some more stuff coming, but I want to save that for next weekend when we do the big celebration. Yeah, second Father's Day. <gasps> Are you palming that? Did he just pick that up with one hand? Yeah. Whoa. I know, you're a strong buddy. <laughs> Holy cow. What the heck? Are you the world's strongest baby? Maybe. I think you are. Slam it down. Show everybody. He's always trying to pick this up. I know, he loves it. Yeah, and this is like pretty heavy. It's like a hefty toy. Is this Buddy Tootin? That was my belly. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh no, is it the chicken salad? Yeah. Maybe I won't start a chicken salad restaurant. Well, no, it's just because I have a fart, but you embarrassed me <laughs> by putting it on the internet, so now I've been holding them all in. So I'm just gonna explode one day. No. Let me ask you guys. What? Let me ask you this. So, I feel like I have a lot of extra knee skin. Okay. And when I'm sitting like this with Jackson, mm -hmm. I have like, I don't know if it's like a, not like a nervous thing. You know how like people have like fidget spinners? I fidget with my knee skin and I do this. Whoa. Does anybody else do that? Like that's a lot Whoa. of knee skin, right? <laughs> Why do I have so much knee skin? Is that normal? I don't think so. What the heck? But like I can grab it and... I feel like, like you're, you're like an alien wearing a human suit I'm because like, you have too much skin. I'm like rock climbing with my knees as the grips. What? That is kind of gross. Jackson, what's wrong with Dad's knees? What? What happened? What's going on? Is it your foot? Oh, because you want to reach it and you can't reach it. You oh, there it. it is. There it is. I love it when he wiggles his little feet. That's one of my favorite things that he does. Ooh, what are you doing? I'm making some popsicles. I'm going to use Simply Limeade some chopped up strawberries and some blackberries. I'm gonna put this in the Vitamix and then we're gonna have That's some- That's not a Vitamix. Oh, what is it? A Nutribullet. I'm gonna put it in the Nutribullet and then we're gonna have some delicious, delicious popsicles. Just to give you an idea, a Vitamix is like $400. Oh. The Nutribullet was like 99. I think it was like 50 bucks. Oh, even better. Yeah. We well, got it as a gift. We like did a, get it as a, a gift. A baby, what's it called? Uh, a baby shower type thing? It was just like a Christmas present, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I love this thing, by the way. It's amazing, oh, yeah. but I'm excited for our popsicles. All right, it's dinner time, and now we're gonna have some spaghetti. <laughs> so as you guys might remember from the last two episodes, or two, are these episodes? Sure, why not? Would you call them that? Vlogs? 
um, we have no food because our Marlene Spoon, our subscription box, didn't come this week. And after I was reading the comments, after we talked about it in the video a couple days ago, a lot of you had the same thing happen. Oh, really? Yeah, so is this like a conspiracy? Was there like a like a, a wreck or something? I don't know, because some people I don't think live in Florida. I don't know that, the that they necessarily are from here. So what the heck? I don't know. What happened? All I know is that we're having spaghetti tonight because we don't have any food. Yep. <laughs> and I don't I like, so our box comes on Tuesday. What are we gonna do tomorrow? Because we literally have nothing to eat tomorrow. We have hot dogs. We have one hot dog bun. Yeah. And Oh no, I was gonna go pick up a frozen pizza or something from the grocery store. That's what I was gonna do tomorrow. We do have to make a grocery list, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well that makes me feel better because I'm literally like we have a can of peas, we have granola, um, we have one salmon filet, um, and rice. Yeah. So there you go. And now we're gonna have spaghetti and peanut butter. Oh no. That would be uh, not good. So should we puree this? Oh, for Jackson? No, for me. Oh, maybe. Um, the other thing, so when you said peanut butter, so there used to be a place in Orlando called Jungle Gyms, and it's not like, so there's also a place in Ohio called Jungle Gyms that is a, it's a grocery store. Right. And it's not, this place in Orlando wasn't a grocery store. It, it was, was a restaurant. A, yeah, it was a restaurant. And they had a burger called the Peanut Butter Bet. Right. So you would eat a burger with peanut butter on it, and if you liked it, I yeah. guess you didn't you have to pay for it. Is that you what it was? You didn't like it, it was free. Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. Um, and it was in like downtown Orlando? Or... No, it was in the crossroads. Was it? Yeah, right across from right across from the like where Hotel the Plaza Boulevard. Is that where the Sizzler was? No, that's on I 192. Ponderosa was in the crossroads. Right, and okay. Hooters is over there. Yeah. Most people that have been to Orlando know about the crossroads. Pizzeria Uno no, is in there. I know about the crossroads. I know, but I'm just like saying. Like, oh, okay. But I remember because I used to go there with my grandparents and we would eat at Ponderosa. Yeah. So, and that was like a, a buffet place. Right. And they had um, all you could eat catfish and that's why we would go, which was like good. They had good catfish. But um, yeah, so that reminded me of the peanut butter bet burger. You know, where you don't have to like bet it or there is no bet, but there is a peanut butter burger is at Cowfish. They have the cowfish has left the building, which is peanut butter, bacon, and banana on a burger. It's good. It sounds really gross. Sounds really gross, but it was good. You've eaten it in a vlog before, but I can't We've eaten remember. it twice. Have you? Yeah. Maybe if I can find that video, I'll look it up. Well, the last time that we went. Is like the first, yeah, the first time that we went with Jackson, that's what I ordered. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. It was good. You know what? What? Another thing, really quick, sorry. Um. When I was talking about the sauce in the video where we made the pizza deal, the pizza dillas, the pizza quesadillas, um, so many of you knew about the Rao's, is it pronounced Rao? I think so. The sauce, and you left a, like a, a bunch of comments about the sauce and how it was like a restaurant in New York and I didn't know that. Huh. So I wanna go to that restaurant. Oh yeah. This sauce is so good. Real good. And some of you said that they make other sauce because we only have the marinara. Yeah, I said there was like a four cheese sauce. We gotta get more of it. But then everybody said that it was low sugar too. Yeah, so um, one of our friends, you you probably know them, the Ordinary Adventures from the West Coast, Peter and, Peter, Peter, Peter and Ketra, um, they uh, messaged you and said that it was like a uh, keto. Kind of healthy. Did they say it was keto? No, they just said it was sort of healthy. Sort of healthy. There you go. It's um, Ordinary Adventures approved. Is that their relationship name, Peter? <laughs> I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> What's ours? A gym. Ten. Ten. Ten and gym. I like ten better than gym. Do you? Yeah. Oh. What are your relationship names? Leave it in the comments down below. I'm curious. Brangelina. <laughs> Wanna eat some milkies? <gasps> Is it milky time, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Is that daddy so funny? You ready? You smell like farts. Do you? Did you poop? <laughs> Look at that no. little chunky butt. Just smell like farts. <laughs> oh no. Is that just what you smell like? Sometimes I smell like farts. Oh. Sometimes I smell like farts. Yeah. Sometimes they're daddy's farts. Sometimes they're my farts. <laughs> so I'm fairly certain that Jackson's room is haunted. Why? Well, see, so yes, we have this rug up there, and the rug moves around the room. I think it's because when I 
feed him up there or when like I'm trying to get him to go to sleep or um, at night, especially like in the middle of the night, I rock him in this chair. And I think the chair pushes the rug back. <laughs> what are you doing? How does Sally? it do that? I have no idea because the chair is so heavy. Right. And it also pushes the whole rug up against the dresser, which we'll show you guys in a second. But we need to pull the rug back, which I think the rug is ruined now. Ruined. Ruined. We've ruined the rug. <laughs> well, I mean, like, seriously, though, it's a ghost. Do you think Daddy's so funny? Is it a ghost? Also, don't say that because yesterday we were watching, um, Shane Dawson has a new video where he was talking about this horror movie that he wants to write and how his house is haunted. And then last night when I was feeding Jackson, I got so scared. Oh no. I know, and I'm like, I feel like a ghost is gonna open the door. No. I don't know, what if it does? I mean, our last house was haunted. This house is not haunted. But I, uh, I feel like, how do you know? Well, we would have seen it by now. Like we saw it in the other house. I mean, do you think maybe maybe the ghosts do ghosts come and go? No. You know what I mean? They're like tied to the place. Maybe not always. I don't know, I think they are. So what if what if a ghost just died? In this house? No, like okay, so two people I think own this house before we own this house. Right. So what if the first guy who owned this house just died yesterday? Then he's probably tied to the place that he died. What if he's tied what if he's tied to this house? What if this is the place he's tied to? I don't think so. How do you know? I don't. Right? But what if he died in like Wisconsin? Can ghosts like yeah, to because... Florida? They like get on their little <laughs> ghost plane and they're like, we're going to Florida. He's like, first class, please. Yeah, and then he's like, <laughs> he's like, time to get me some sun. The daddy's so funny. <laughs> oh, you can't see him in this camera. Oh no, well he was he was leaning down. He was, he was trying to hug his dad. He loves the shirt. Are you trying to hug your dad? Oh. He's trying to, <laughs> oh, no. trying to eat off my shirt. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Say hi, everybody. I'm being silly. Yeah, yeah we have to go fix your, your rug. Oh yeah, let's show let's you the rug. It. So this is the rug. And like I said, so I know, like I understand it's it's very obviously the, the chair that's doing it, but like, why? I don't know, it's so weird too. Like it's pulling it from underneath the crib. Yeah. This way. You can see it's all bunched up against this dresser. What the heck? I don't know. Okay, so let's fix it. So now I have to move that whole chair and then like try to flatten out the rug. Yeah, we're gonna do it. You ready? All right, Jackson, help me out with this chair. <laughs> this was like our splurge item for the nursery. So this is a swivel rocker from Pottery Barn. And I love this thing. It is so amazingly comfortable. So now, okay, we're off a little bit on this one side. So I gotta, I gotta move back this way Okay. a little bit. Look at this, babe. Isn't he cute? Eating Mickey Mouse like he likes to eat food. <laughs> that was a slant, Ryan. That was pretty close, though. <laughs> so, what do you think? Do you want to go look in your mirror? You want to have some mirror time? You want to see the cute baby in the mirror? Somebody left a comment on yesterday's video that was actually really interesting, and I didn't think about this, but they said if Jackson likes babies so much, we should buy him a baby doll. Oh, yeah. And see what he does. And I love that idea. Like, when I was a kid, I had Cupid dolls. Cupy? Yeah. What is that? They have like the hair. Well, you I... know, people in the comments know. Yeah, but I don't. So what is it? It's like a, a baby that had like hair. Cupy dolls. What did you, did you have to like do the baby's hair? No, or... it was plastic. You didn't, you, the hair didn't move. Oh. But they were just called Cupy dolls. I need to look this up. Yeah. I, once you see one, you'll know what it is. Okay. But um, I want to get him a baby doll and see what he does. Okay. So we'll do that in a future video. But um, let's put him in front of the mirror so you can have some mirror time. You want to do some tummy time on the mirror? Or not on the mirror. You want to do tummy time and look at the mirror? <laughs> what do you think? Isn't yeah. that baby so funny? That baby has a Mickey too. That baby has a Mickey too. <laughs> yeah. Do you see the Mickey? What do you think about that Mickey? Oh, he. I feel like he just realized just then, like that exact moment, he realized that the mirror was a reflection. You think? Yeah, well, because he, he looked, Mickey. well, he looked at the Mickey and then he looked next to him at the Mickey. He was like, whoa. Right? <laughs> yeah. I love when he kicks his little feet though. That's my favorite part. When he lays on his tummy and he kicks his feet. Like a cutie booty. So wait, what were you saying? Oh, so I wanted to ask you some questions about Father's Day. So although we're not having our big Father's Day celebration today, okay. and some people were asking why, why aren't we having our big Father's Day celebration? Because some of the things that I got you weren't going to come in time. Right. So I wanted to be able to give you everything together. 
Okay. So this is purely my fault. <gasps> well, no, I mean, it's like uh, shipping and... So, I right? wanted to ask you some questions about being a father, about Father's Day. Okay, is it like, is it just a quiz? <laughs> no, it's not a quiz, it's just like your thoughts. I'm just curious your thoughts. Okay. So, when we found out that we were pregnant, which right. was, we found out we were pregnant two days before we went on our trip to Hawaii. Um, we went to California, to Disneyland, and we did our Adventures by Disney trip, and then we went to Hawaii, and we went on a one-day cruise to Mexico. Right. Um, that was our, like, three-part trip. So, two days before we left for that trip, we found out we were pregnant. Right. Um, what were your, like, when we, we found out we were pregnant, what was your, like, immediate thought? Like, uh, what was your reaction? Well, I mean, I know what your reaction was, but I wanted to share it with them. I don't know if, we, like, we've been trying for a long time, and I've always wanted kids. Yeah. So I was excited. Yeah. I like. I already knew. No, I know no. you did. So like, when when we had the when we did the pregnancy test, it was in the bathroom, and you're. I was like, "Do you want me to go look first? And you're like, "Yeah." And I went there and looked, and I was like, "Oh, you're pregnant." And you're like, "What?" Well, I thought you were kidding, and I'm like, "Don't joke. Like that's not funny." Right. Because and, I already knew. Well, so, so we, I came out all nonchalant, like, oh yeah, well, I knew that. Well, so we went to, um, we were on our trip. No, we went to, we, we were at Animal Kingdom Lodge for something. I don't know if it was because we were doing the beaded activity or what. Okay. But we were at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and I just remember you saying um, that you thought that I was pregnant. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. And you're like, I think you are. And I was like, no, I'm not. Because we had tried for so long and it never happened. So I never wanted to get in my head that I was. Right. Because I didn't want to be disappointed that I wasn't. Right. So when we took the pregnancy test, which I didn't even think that that pregnancy test was going to work <laughs> because it was literally like a five-year-old pregnancy test. Yeah, because we had pregnancy tests from when we were trying to get pregnant. When we were like actively trying, you know how you do all the things, you like take your temperature and you, you do it so many times and you know, all that stuff. And so, <laughs> so I didn't even think it was going to work. And so we took the pregnancy test, we left it in the bathroom and then we went and sat down on the couch and it was literally like the longest three minutes that we had ever waited, I feel like. Right. And then you said, should I go look at it? And I was like, yeah, because I didn't want to be disappointed that it said no. And then you came out and you're like, yeah, you're pregnant. And I was like, I'm like, don't like, that's not funny. Right. And you were like, no, seriously, you're pregnant. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, I was so shocked. Yeah. I was in shock because I'd never thought it could happen. Right. So that was, you're just, you knew it. Yeah, I knew. So you weren't surprised at all? I mean, yeah, I was surprised because there's always like a, a, a moment of surprise because like you can never be 100% sure. Right. But like I knew because there were signs. Right. But yeah. Hmm. So I knew. I don't know. So that was my first question is what were you, what was your like initial reaction? Um, and then what was your reaction when you found out that we were having a boy? Oh, <laughs> I knew that too. How did you know? Because I did a thing where I don't I don't want this to come across wrong, but I wanted a boy. Right. Um, and so I kept saying like, oh, it's a girl. <laughs> so that's how you knew that we were having so a boy. So that's, that's how I knew that we were having a boy. <laughs> I had a dream that we were having a girl. And in my dream, I found out that, that our baby was going to be a girl. And I woke up and I felt like that's not right. Right. Like, that doesn't feel right. Right. So it's like like the secret. Like, you just put it out there in the universe. And then that just... And that's what happens. There you go. I, I put out there that we were having a girl, and it was like, ha ha, tricked you. And I was like, did you? <laughs> I tricked you, universe. Oh, no. Um, okay, so... Um, and then what was your... Like, when we were going in... So our labor story was a little bit different because we didn't... Like, my water didn't break. It wasn't a surprise. Like, we scheduled my labor. Right. Um, well, we didn't schedule. My doctor was like, we're going to induce you on this day. Right. And so we knew when we were having him. Um, but what were your, what was your initial, what was your thought? So I was most nervous mm -hmm. before the, the few days before. Were you? Because I, uh, didn't want, I, I like the idea of it being like, oh, okay, we're just like going to the hospital now yeah. and it's going to happen rather than like, oh my gosh, let's go. Like, ah, what's happening? Right. And like, you're in pain and I'm speeding down the highway right. and stuff like that. 
so I was like very nervous before we went in thinking like that's gonna happen. Oh, like you thought that I was gonna go into labor before my induction. Before your induction. Okay. And also that would mean that a different doctor would have delivered him rather than our normal doctor and stuff like that. Right. And, and we so, love our doctor. She was so wonderful. Yeah. And we met all the other doctors and they were nice too, but like we went through everything with our doctor. Our doctor. Yeah. And so I was nervous that it was going to happen before the day that you were scheduled to be induced. Yeah. But then it didn't. And so like when we went into the hospital, I was kind of like kind of chill about it because like I, I knew that it was like on schedule and everything was good to go. Right. Um, Sorry, I'm laughing at the baby. <laughs> but I still was, I don't know, I was nervous because it was like a huge change. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't nervous with like, I felt like everything was going to go okay. Yeah. And it did for the most part. Like there, like there was a lot of blood loss and you had to be rushed into surgery and stuff like that. But for the most part, it was fairly routine. Okay. And short. Yeah. And oh, so and what's been the buddy? What are you Flex doing? it up, buddy. <laughs> what's been the hardest part about being a dad? Um, like what was the thing that you weren't ready for? I feel like the the changes, like not not the changes in my life, mm -hmm. but like how often how it's like oh i got it i got this down and then it changes okay like because like i've said way recently the past few days he has been uh like not letting me put him to sleep and i was always kind of like proud of the fact that i felt like i could get him to go to sleep fairly quickly like there's yeah. there were times that i could like get him to go to sleep in like five minutes right like i just start rocking him and he's like mm, cool i'm, I'm asleep <laughs> but now he like fights me and it's like, it's very... Well, I don't think it's you. I think he's just fighting sleep. Right. But it's very emotionally draining to have him... Because you feel like you're not doing something yeah, right. Yeah, because I yeah. feel like, like less than, you know, because well, I used to be good at it. Yeah. And then like now I'm not. And that'll change too. Yeah, but you it's know? like, it's like, and then I get to the point where I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, oh, I tried this way. I tried that way. And then like, I, I don't know. That's, that's been the hardest for me recently. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you're not less than. No, I know, but right. it's just like, that's the, <gasps> See, that's the feeling. See, this loves you so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that makes me sad. I don't want you to feel that way. Well, I know that I'm not, but like, it is like, when it's happening, mm -hmm. it's hard to like, put yourself out of that situation and remember like, everything's okay. He'll fall asleep eventually. Right. But like, when he's crying and like, fighting you, not fighting you, but fighting sleep, like he's like, trying to get out yeah. of your arms and you're just like stop like you can't do that you're gonna hurt yourself or he something gets, it's he's like, very wiggly right now yeah. like you can tell right now he's very wiggly but when you're trying to put him to sleep and he's not quite ready then he's super wiggly so he does kind of try to like wriggle his way out of your arms yeah and then other than that like i feel like uh like the 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 normal Oh, was the hardest thing? That's what you asked? Mm -hmm. I was thinking of the scariest thing. Well, what's the scariest thing? Like, the the thing that everybody's always like, like, babies are, like, unpredictable. Like, stuff could go wrong in an instant. Right. And, like, that's scary. I think that's anything. Yeah. I mean, that's, like, life. Right. Like, stuff that could go, could go wrong in an instant any at any point in your life, at any, you know, for anything in your life that could happen. Right. You just have to be, I don't know, aware and, like, ready for things yeah to happen and i think we've been really good about that yeah well any other questions um the question that we get the most which is something that i ask i've asked you a few times but would you want to have more kids um so yes and no like right now at this moment in time no because he's a handful <laughs> um and i don't want to take away from him you know what i mean Oh, this buddy. Right. But I do want him to have a companion. Yeah, I agree. I also feel like it was so hard and such an emotional journey to get pregnant. Right. That I don't want to just assume that it'll be so easy, that it'll just happen so easy. And then right. be heartbroken when it isn't easy. Right. Like this, you know, his pregnancy wasn't an easy thing. You know, it, it took literally like 10 years. Right. Like we tried for like 10 years to get pregnant. Right. And also like we are older 
Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's necessarily safe to have another kid. I, there are definitely um, health, you know, like risks. risk factors. Yeah, for my age. But um, I don't know, that's just something we get asked all the time. And so I wanted to be like very honest with you guys about it. That it's something that we talk about. It's something that I would like to happen, but I don't know if it will happen. Right. So I don't know. You might just be the only one and we'll be okay with that. And we'll spoil the heck out of you. We already do. I know. <laughs> but, but we also um, are... I think that although he is definitely spoiled, I think that he will be well-rounded. Right. I don't think he's going to be like a bratty kid. I hope. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not too. I feel like I was a bratty kid. Uh-oh. I know. <laughs> so you won't be like mommy, right? <laughs> I wanted to see, so although we didn't really celebrate Father's Day today, we just did like a mini celebration. Yeah. But we are going to be celebrating next weekend, which I'm very excited about because it's also going to be Jackson's seven month celebration. Yeah. So um, did you still have a fun day today? Yeah. I got my shirt. Yeah. I love this shirt. <laughs> my favorite thing. You and Jackson were twinning all day. Yeah. And I loved it. It was very uh, cute. I got to do my Lego. Yeah. It was great. I ate cookies. You ate so many cookies. I know. I probably should. I'm gonna eat some more, but I shouldn't have. <laughs> They're so good. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop. I gotta, gotta. I can't just eat cookies. Like I that's feel not like, healthy, right? I mean, that's quarantine, baby. <laughs> right? Uh, I don't know. If you eat all the cookies now, what are we gonna eat next weekend? I mean, that's the idea. Is you you eat all of the cookies, therefore there are no cookies, so you don't like eat unhealthy. Next weekend? Yeah, but like, then you just make more cookies. I was gonna say, we bought this mixer. What are we gonna make? Oh, a lot of you left comments saying that we should shred chicken in it. There were so many comments about shredding chicken in the mixer. I, uh -huh. I didn't know that was a thing, but yeah, so we'll have to try that. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. I don't know, I gotta look into it more, but Let's yeah. Let's do it. You guys were like, it'll change your life. Shredding so, chicken in a mixer? Yeah, that's what they said. I've seen people do it with like a, a regular hand mixer that ours caught, well, the one that caught on fire. Oh yeah, but this one, they said with this one. Hmm. So maybe we'll try that. We'll do some delicious- what, Which attachment do you use? I don't know, I think I gotta read some more comments and look into it. Okay. Yeah, but I just thought that was cool advice, so thank you. Interesting. But yeah, so. All in all, it was a fantastic day. Yeah. I did enjoy myself. Good. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to help. So today's organization that we wanted to shine a spotlight on is the Know Your Rights Camp. This is founded by Colin Kaepernick and it empowers youths through free seminars and educational programs on legal rights, often overlooked histories and self-confidence. Sounds like so, a good camp. Yeah, so we'll definitely leave some links down below if you wanna check that out, that would be great. If you wanna to donate to their cause, that would be wonderful as well. But just talking about it and just sharing it with your friends and family really helps just putting more eyes on these organizations is all we're trying to do here. So we hope you will check it out. It'll be down in the description down below for you to see. Yeah, so thanks for watching the video. Yeah, bye.